Hi, Ni Hao. Today I'm answering a viewer's question that I received by email, and also a Chinese screenshot. Here's Tsai Wai Li's initial question. How to make that audio green graph shows? He is referring to the audio waveform in the uh, audio tracks. And I asked him for a bit more details. So this is a screenshot he sent me. I blurred out everything that could have been personal information, just in case. And uh, as you can see, he doesn't have any waveforms on the audio tracks. And some of them are kind of a darker green, which means they're disabled. So I'm going to show you how to fix this, how to get the waveform back on the audio tracks and also how to enable and disable any tracks easily. So, let's get to it. This is a test session I prepared. So as you can see, you can use any colors for all the clips. So let's just um, select everything and put them back to the default colors. Okay, so as you can see, I've got an active audio track and this one is deactivated. So if it plays, so then it doesn't work. And also the video, anything can be disabled. So how you can enable and disable, there's two ways. The first one is you select the clip, you right click, and you select enable, or shortcut key D. So enable or disable. Enable, disabled. That's the first thing. And the second thing is how the heck you get the waveforms. You might stretch the track, but it will still not show the waveform. Well, actually, you go into timeline view options right here, timeline view options. Click once, and then you can choose the show other waveform. When you do that, you'll be able to stretch the track a little bit more, and then you're gonna be able to zoom in, and you can do precise editing. That's it. That's how you do it. Thank you, Tsai uh, Wai Li, for your question. Everybody else, if you have any questions, drop me a comment or send me an email. And as always, take care, and I'll see you soon.